now we'll open up with a quick statement from Coach Haas. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. We were manhandled, uh, you know, early and often. Um, defensively, we couldn't get stops. They were 14 to 17 in the first half, even though our priority was trying to um, keep them out of the paint and keep their effectiveness down the first half. So we, uh, we failed in a big way there. Uh, and on the offensive end, um, not making shots. I thought there were a couple early that didn't go that um, maybe in the past we've, we've made. And I think that shook our confidence. But the reality is, I think five of our first, you know, eight, top eight tonight uh, were freshmen. And it showed in terms of the physicality and ability to play in a, you know, kind of a man's game out there. So we need to get bigger, faster, stronger as soon as we can, you know, leading up to this next week. But uh, this is a game that was very humbling. It wasn't, uh, you know, it, we were a shell of ourselves tonight. What I have to do as a head coach is figure out a way to get better moving forward. All right, with that, we'll open up for questions. Starting off with Michael Roberson. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, Coach, they jumped on you guys early. Uh, would you say that the tournament now will be maybe somewhere be a clean slate, a fresh start? Could you look at it that way? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I look at it right now. It certainly is a, a new opportunity, an opportunity for us to play well. And, Right now, I'm focused on between now and then finding a way to get better. And if we can do that, then yes, it is a clean slate and an opportunity to make something special happen. But the reality is if we don't get better, um, we won't be able to take advantage of that opportunity. So the goal is going to be to work and improve. Now I'll go to Jacob Rayburn. Go ahead, Jacob. Hi, Coach. Uh, were either Dejon Davis or Bryce Wills available to play today? Um, yeah, the, the reality is our, our entire team is, you know, banged up to a certain extent. Um, but, you know, it is a coach. It was coaches decisions, you know, my coach decision to uh, to, you know, substitute and, and put everybody in the game today. Um, so we're kind of a combination of everything. But, um, you know, the entire team right now needed to get healthy uh, in a variety of ways. And um, but at the end of the day, again, coaches decision. Do you think that uh, they could be available for the Pac-12 tournament? Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, we have we have um, you know Oscar out as well right now, um, so I'm I'm hopeful we'll have a full roster and not only a full roster but a roster that we have um, um, that we can really be cohesive with everything. Um, I know there's uh, we've had so many moving parts this year, and what we want to be able to do is not only have everybody together but play cohesively, and I think that's the kind of the next goal with this team if we can figure that out this next week. Thank you. Peter, we'll go with you next. Go ahead. Just to expand on Jacob's question a little bit more, is this a situation where if the game were competitive down the stretch where you might have thought about putting Dejan or Bryce into the game, or did you know before tip that those guys weren't going to see the floor at all? Yeah, I mean, I, I used the information at hand and, and make, kind of made those decisions, you know, just coach's decision as the game went on. I'm going to go to Jackson Moore. Go ahead, Jackson. Coach, uh, with Oscar missing these last three games, um, how much has it shown how impactful he is with him not available, even maybe more so than what he's shown, what he can do when he's on the court? Yeah, Oscar provides a lot to the team. Um, obviously, the, the tangible things like the points and rebounds and assists, and uh, he's really good defensively as well. So all of those things are missed. And he also has a, a steady impact on the game. I think gives guys confidence uh, with his stability, his leadership. Uh, so certainly, I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, you know, with with all our guys, when we don't have guys out there, it impacts us. And we've had so many injuries and so many guys out at different times. Um, you know, we really haven't. I've said this a few times. We, I feel like we have a lot of pieces to a puzzle, um, but we don't necessarily. We haven't had necessarily the time to put the puzzle together this year. And uh, I believe one of the words you used Saturday to describe the team was disjointed. Did you feel this was any carryover or a, a unique uh, outcome? I think it was, it, I didn't feel as disjointed necessarily. I didn't think we uh, competed uh, to the level we need to compete with. I think the physicality of the game was a little bit much. Um, yes, at times we were certainly disjointed. Um, but I would probably label the other things as, as more primary uh, reasons uh, for the result tonight. Thank you. 
All right, and with that, we'll wrap it up. Thank you very much, Coach Hass. Thank you. All right, everyone, we'll send this out shortly. Thank you.